Alright, so this is a quick tutorial on cutscene skips in Pikmin 1 on the Switch version. Uh, so basically every time a part comes into the ship and it gets collected, it plays a little 8 second cutscene um, that we have to wait through. But actually, if we bring up a text box at the beginning of that cutscene, we can just cancel that text box and that'll cancel us out of the cutscene and we'll regain con uh, control of Olimar. On the Switch version, uh, the text box we always bring up is on the ship here. Um, and if you just press A on the ship, then it brings up a text box on the next frame. Um, so we basically just have to frame perfectly, press A at the same frame that the part comes into this little uh, rainbow thing here. Um, on other versions of Switch, we would most of the time use a part text box because that has a two frame window. Um, so it's a little easier, but on Pikmin Switch, that's not recommended because a lot of the time, instead of actually collecting the part, uh, Pikmin will do this where they just drop it like that at the front of the ship instead of collecting it. Um, so let me just get this out of the way real quick so I don't have to deal with it. Um, so that's why you have to use the ship on Pikmin Switch instead of the parts. Um, it is possible to still get um, normal cutscene skips on parts, but there's always the chance of having that happen, and it's a decently often chance, so generally use the ship. Um, but now, so it seems like it's a one frame uh, trick that you have to do where you just press A on one frame. Um, but it's actually a lot easier than that. If you press A early, like a few frames early, then you can use kind of a buffering method to frame perfectly buffer the world one frame at a time. And so you can just press A a few frames early and then have the ship, uh, or I guess have the part one frame at a time buffer into the collection zone. Um, so here I'm just going to show, basically I have a rhythm of bringing up the text box and then canceling it and then pressing A after the text box gets cancelled. And the A press is actually a lot easier. It's maybe like a third of a second uh, window or something to bring up the next text box. So B, B, A, 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 just like that. Um, you can frame perfectly, uh, advance the world uh, one frame at a time. Um, so I can just show, instead of having to do a frame perfect input on the ship here, I can just get this part moving, and then a few frames before it gets in, I'll press A, and then B, B, A, B, B, A, B, B, A, B, B, A, and then I collected it just like that. Um, so rather than having to do one frame input, um, it's just a very easy trick. Um, so I, I took maybe like three or four tries to get it there. Um, every time you do an extra buffer, it loses uh, maybe a second or a little lower second. Uh, so you generally want to be able to do it in six or seven or fewer um, tries because if you once you start hitting like seven, eight tries, you're either breaking even or losing time to just watching the cutscene itself. Um, so yeah, just make sure you can consistently, um, you know, only be a few frames early on the uh, cutscene skip. So yeah. Oh, also one thing I should point out about the ship here also is um, so I'm always going to be facing. Uh, so that Olimar's right side is pointed towards the ship. Um, because when you press A like this, Olimar does this little punching motion. And if you have Olimar's left side facing the ship, then that punching motion actually pushes you away from the ship. And then the next time you try to press A, you don't get a text box. So always make sure that Olimar's right side is facing the ship when you're doing your cutscene skips.